Dear learners, we are going to see how to perform data analysis using node rate. So here we are going to pull the data from the external source through the HTTP link and we are going to process it locally through node rate. So the objective of this video is we are going to retrieve the information from website through the HTTP protocol using HTTP request request node of node red and we are going to process it and convert that information into a required format using csv node switch node change node and finally we are going to display the result in the debug monitor using debug node so our goal is we are going to retrieve the data from a specified url through node red and we are going to pass the data and we are going to display it in the display debug panel. So in this example, we are going to check the magnitude value in the data set and we are going to branch the messages, a new message when the magnitude is greater than or equal to 7. And we are going to send a red alert message that that is going to be displayed in the debug panel when the magnitude of the data set value is greater than 7. So here we are going to consider the earthquake data set. So the data set will look like this. The, um, the first line signifies the uh, column name. So here we are going to consider MAG. MAG is a magnitude and the attribute name is MAG. So we are going to focus on the value if the value is greater than 7 we are going to display a alert message so through http url we are going to retrieve a data set of like this and we are going to process it using node red so once you type this http um, address in your uh, in your address bar first time it will you will get a, a error message like this so it ensures that you have not triggered your node red so in order to trigger your node red you need to open your command window then you just type node hyphen red space hyphen v in your command prompt so you need to type it to trigger your node red once this is done then uh, when you type this address in the address bar so you will get this application triggered so as usual, we need to inject an inject node into the flow. So we are going to select an inject node and we are going to put it in the uh, flow or the workspace. Now we are going to insert an HTTP request node into the flow. So this HTTP request node is used to retrieve the content of the web page when the node is triggered through the inject node. So when you click a blue button, the input of the blue button of the inject node, then this will uh, trigger the data that has to be fetched from this web particular website. In this uh, insert HTTP request node into the flow and double click it, you will get a edit window that we are going to set the URL property. So you need to type the required URL over there in order to fetch the data from that particular URL. So once you double click it, you will get a property window. So you need to configure your required uh, website. So here we are going to give a, a earthquake data set. We are going to retrieve an earthquake data set. So I'm giving a website address of this. Then you just give a click done. So next we need to insert csv node into the flow so you just insert a csv node and then you just double click it to get the edit window in this edit window very important point you need to enable this first row contains column name you should enable this in order to retrieve its column name so by default this pass uh, numerical value which is next to what first row contains it will be activated so you can deactivate it or uncheck it then you just make sure your first row contains column is activated then you can click done to close it now we are we have to insert a debug node 
so after inserting the debug node we need to wire all the nodes so we are no, now supposed to connect all the nodes through wires so now here the input node of uh, the sorry the output node of the inject node is connected to the input node of the http request now the output of the http request node is connected to the csv node input and last the csv node output is connected to the debug node input so once this wiring is done you need to insert a switch node so you kindly insert a switch node and as usual to edit its property you double click it in order to get the edit window so before i go into the edit window i am going to specify the uh, objective again so we are going to track the uh, magnitude value if the value is greater than 7 we are going to display an alert message called red alert so this is the objective so now let me know uh, how to figure it out so once you double click your uh, switch node you will get a edit switch window property window so there you need to click this msg dot payload you need to type dot mag mag is nothing but the field name for the magnitude which was specified in the data set so you need to give that field name the column name to be configured here so once you so fit your uh, column name over there now you just click uh, the set uh, property in order to set the parameter value so there i asked uh, uh, the system to do to uh, it's called to pull out all the values which is greater than 7 less greater than or equal to 7 so that whatever the conditions we need to check you can uh, select that conditions from the pop up value then you you can specify this as a number because i am going to check for the value of 7 so 7 is a number so you can uh, select this data type as number then you can give the value as 7 over here so uh, i'm just repeating uh, after double click it you need to set the property as message dot payload dot mag mag is a magnitude value then you need to set the um conditions i'm setting it as greater than equal to then i'm giving a value of 7 so whatever value greater than 7 uh, that is going to be processed here so this is an analysis we are going to do it here then you can click done and you can close it now we need to wire a uh, so inserted switch so we need to take the output of the csv and we are going to connect it to the input of the switch and then the input of the switch uh, will be connected with the uh, payload which we are going to insert now so now we are going to insert a change node so you just click a change node here then you just double click it in order to get the property window of the change node so once you get the property of the change node you set the um, data type as string so in the string only we are going to uh, set a value called red alert red alert message we are going to configure here so when the value of magnitude is greater than 7 we are going to display this red alert red alert message so you just configure this in the change node so once you configure our required um, display message here you can give done and you can close it next we need to wire it so we need to connect the output of this payload the output of this change node to payload next we need to insert a, a debug node as usual to display it in the debug monitor so once you have done now you can change the flow name also so in order to change your flow name double click your flow you will get a flow edit option there you can give the name so here i have given earthquake analysis so like that you can give your required uh, flow name then you can click done and you can close it so this is how 
the flow name has been changed from edco analysis previously the flow name was flow 1 for flow 3 so now i have changed my flow name as earthquake analysis so now one this all process is over so now it's our time to deploy it so kindly click your deploy button so once you click the deploy button we will get the uh, deploy successfully successfully deployed uh, pop up in the window now you need to trigger your uh, inject node so once you trigger your inject node you could see an output displayed in the uh, right hand side of your window that is your debug monitor so here you could see uh, all the data which has been fetched from the data set of earthquake it will be displayed here and one thing i would like to bring to your notice here is you just see if the magnitude values is greater than 7 you will get a, a different message of red alert for rest of the cases only the data will be displayed for magnitude 5.8 no extra uh, special message has been displayed but when the magnitude is greater than 7.4 uh, we are configuring we are processing our data and we are just sending a message called a red alert message uh, so uh, this is how we have accomplished our uh, today's experiment so uh, the task uh, Uh, you can do it as analysis. Analyze your uh, earthquake data set. So here, there, there is a field called RMS. This RMS field um, is going to provide um, the difference between the observed arrival time and the predicted arrival time. So you are analyze your data set. Then you just display better fit when this RMS value is less than seven. Thank you so much.